For centuries, fishermen and river dwellers of the Amazon have whispered about a sinister presence that inhabits the deepest waters of the rivers. A creature so massive, so terrifying, that many prefer not to speak about it after sunset. But these aren't just fishermen's tailies or superstitions of isolated peoples. We're talking about consistent reports, documented by explorers, missionaries, and even government officials over more than 400 years. Scientists always classified these reports as mere superstition, folklore created to explain the inexplicable. Until now. In February 2024, a revolutionary scientific discovery shook everything we thought we knew about Amazon predators. A discovery so shocking that it forced the global scientific community to rethink decades of skepticism. What you're about to discover isn't just a new animal species. It's confirmation that some of humanity's oldest legends may have a terrifying basis in reality. Imagine navigating an Amazon river at dusk. The pitch black water reflects the last lights of the day, creating a perfect mirror of the treetops. Suddenly, the smooth surface is disturbed by something emerging from the depths, something that shouldn't exist. Local indigenous peoples have dozens of names for this entity. Mother of the Waters, Boyuna, Sukariju. For these peoples, it's not just an animal, but a supernatural entity that governs the Amazon rivers and punishes those who disrespect its waters. What makes these reports disturbing is their consistency. Tribes that never had contact with each other, separated by thousands of miles of forest, all tell almost identical stories about this colossal creature. The reports are terrifying. Small boats that simply disappear during the night, leaving only pieces of wood floating on the surface. Fishermen who swear they've seen something larger than a canoe moving under the water. Mysterious women with eyes dark as night who appear in the rivers, singing melodies that are both a warning and a melancholic lament. In Amazonian legends, this creature is capable of attacking small boats, taking passengers to its underwater realm, a kind of aquatic afterlife, where victims become elongated beings and remain in the river forever. The reports speak of an almost human intelligence. According to local folklore, the creature can even be summoned in spiritual sessions, where it shows itself to be quite communicative. Some stories mention two entities, one good, that saves people from drowning and helps fishermen in danger, and another evil one, that attacks people, kills fish, and causes boats to sink. One particularly haunting report tells of a fisherman who dared to cast his nets in a forbidden stretch of the river. His boat was suddenly enveloped by a dense fog, and from the mist emerged a woman with eyes dark as the river at night, singing a hypnotizing melody. For decades, the scientific community treated these reports as folklore, myths created to explain natural accidents or simply to scare disobedient children. After all, what creature could really reach the sizes described by locals? What aquatic predator would be capable of bringing down entire boats? Scientists pointed to the absence of concrete evidence. Where were the bodies? Where was the physical proof of these monumental creatures? Why hadn't any specimen been captured or photographed conclusively? But everything changed when a team of scientists led by Professor Brian Fry from the University of Queensland received an extremely rare invitation. The Warani, an indigenous people of Ecuador, invited the researchers to explore a remote region of the Ecuadorian Amazon, the Bameno de Bayawari Warani territory. The invitation wasn't casual. Indigenous hunters spoke about a population of creatures they considered sacred, rumors that they would be the largest ever existing in the region. Before revealing what the scientists discovered, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so you don't miss any content about the world's most fascinating animal mysteries. On a 10-day expedition, paddling in canoes through the river system, the scientists made a discovery that would change everything. They didn't just find a legendary creature, they discovered a completely new species to science. 
We're talking about the northern green anaconda, scientifically named Unexacaema. And when I say the legends were true, I'm not exaggerating. A female captured by the team measured an impressive 20.7 feet in length. But that's not even the scariest part. Reports from the Warani themselves speak of even larger specimens in the region. Anacondas that exceed 24.6 feet in length and weigh about 1,100 pounds. To put this in perspective, that's equivalent to the weight of an adult polar bear concentrated in a snake's body. What makes this discovery even more impressive is that genetically, this new species separated from the southern green anaconda almost 10 million years ago. The genetic difference between them is 5.5%, which to put in perspective, is greater than the difference between humans and chimpanzees, which is only 2%. This means that for millions of years, these giants have been evolving in isolation in the most remote region of the Amazon, growing to increasingly monumental sizes, exactly as the legends described. But what would be the real behavior of these creatures? Anacondas are perfect ambush predators. They spend most of their time submerged, with only their eyes and nostrils above the water's surface, patiently waiting for their prey. With their ability to remain completely motionless for hours, it's easy to understand how boats could pass unnoticed over them until it was too late. Their jaws can dislocate, allowing them to swallow prey with a much larger diameter than their own head. An anaconda of this size would be capable of attacking practically any animal that approached the water. Capybaras, deer, even large caimans. Their constriction force is absolutely devastating, totally capable of suffocating large animals, and they can even position them upside down in the water to drown them. But what about the danger to humans? Although these serpents are truly monstrous in size, they actually tend to flee from human contact. Anacondas are opportunistic predators, not active hunters of humans. Attacks can occur if they're disturbed or feel threatened, but there are no official documented records of anacondas devouring people in the Amazon. This doesn't mean it's impossible, especially considering children or small people. For reference, in Asia, reticulated pythons have already been documented attacking and consuming adult humans. In rare but confirmed cases, there have been at least three documented cases of people being swallowed by reticulated pythons in Indonesia. Ironically, the biggest real danger for those navigating Amazon rivers doesn't come from these legendary creatures, but from other human beings. The so-called river pirates represent a growing and very real threat in the region. According to data from the Amazon River Navigation Companies Union, just between late 2020 and 2023, more than 2 million gallons of fuel were stolen in attacks on boats. The number of assaults on stretches between Manaus Belém and Manaus Porto Velha quadrupled from 50 in 2015 to more than 200 in 2016 causing estimated annual losses of $18.5 million. The attacks generally happen during the night, when criminal groups board commercial boats armed, stealing fuel, cargo, and terrorizing entire crews. The escalation of violence was so intense that transport companies had to hire armed escorts to protect their convoys. In the case of anacondas and many other animals, the biggest threat is deforestation. Habitat loss in the Amazon Basin is estimated between 20 to 31 percent, potentially impacting up to 40 percent of forests by 2050. Degradation from territorial fragmentation, industrialized agriculture, and heavy metal pollution associated with oil extraction activity spills represents a growing risk. However, the discovery of the northern green anaconda proves that indigenous legends had a solid basis in reality. For centuries, the peoples of the Amazon coexisted with these aquatic giants, developing deep respect and even spiritual reverence for them. This discovery reminds us that there are still deep mysteries on our planet, especially in the most remote regions of the Amazon. Each scientific expedition can reveal creatures that seem to have come directly from humanity's oldest legends. 
If you were fascinated by this discovery, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content about the mysteries of the animal world. And I left a special gift for you, a video that will leave you jaw dropped. Click now and prepare yourself for another incredible journey through nature's secrets.